This video is brought to you by Shardimus Prime.net. Pre-order your Shardimus Prime Legendary Collector t-shirts at Shardimus Prime.net. <laughs> Snoo, snoo, more snoo. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another DC Multiverse action figure review on the Toys R Us exclusive Justice League movies Aquaman. If you're trying to get your DC Multiverse figures, you can get them at big, 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 big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So I'm not going to lie, I mostly picked this up for the new Steppenwolf head right over there. I wanted to see how that looked on the Steppenwolf. After reviewing the Steppenwolf, I kind of felt like the head was a little small, so I'm kind of hoping to see if that head's a little bigger. Anyway, we don't get much on the side right over there on the very back. You can see the Steppenwolf collect and connect with the new head sculpt, and then here's the added figure of the Parademon right there, and the other figures from the regular wave. And then right there we get Aquaman once again, and then it says DC Multiverse on the top, and not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing with <laughs> And here's Aquaman out of the packaging, and this figure is just not for me. Uh, I, I gotta say right off the bat, I don't really like it. And I didn't buy it thinking I was going to like it. Again, I bought it for the Steppenwolf Collect and Connect piece. Uh, but the deco looks fairly clean on it, as you can see from over here uh, already. But, you know, uh, let's get a closer look. So here's looking at the head sculpt, and it's the same head sculpt that we'd seen on the previous Aquaman figure, but with a slightly different color hair. Uh, you can see that it's more of a brown color on this newer one compared to the more tan color that we're seeing on this one. Um, I think this one is closer to the film even though I don't really like how it looks so much. Uh, this is more of a brown where he did seem to have bleach blonde hair in some parts or be bleach blonde highlights anyway. Kind of hard to say bleach blonde highlights. I don't know. Say bleach blonde five times fast. But anyway, uh, yeah, the, the head looks pretty good. We get some nice, you know, teal color right over there for the eyes and he has a little gash over the eyebrows still. And then looking at the rest of the figure, uh, yeah, Mr. Sanchez, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, your dream came true, bro, there it is, yeah, we get the man nips on this, and, um, yeah, I mean, actually, but even though that we have the man nipples on this thing, I don't think it's that great of an upper torso, uh, I think there's a lot of muscle definition that's missing from this, like, he doesn't have any abs, you know, it would have been good to see some abs, it's just barely there. The deco did come out pretty clean, though, uh, there's only one little spot over here where I feel like there's, you know, a little bit of weird gappage right over there, but you know the deco is even on the joints right there so can't complain too much about the deco that's one good thing I will say about this piece is that it did come out looking pretty clean but as far as you know being stoked about owning it uh, I'm just not at all then there's the butt pockets right over there the aqua butt and then you get some little tears in the pants right there and then the pants look pretty good and then you get the man patas so for you man foot lovers there you go didn't you think it was kind of funny in the movie when he first jumps into the water he just crosses his arms and goes i always thought that was kind of a strange entry into the water for him like didn't i don't know maybe a forward dive i don't know i just thought it was kind of weird just yes! Now for articulation, you can get his head moving side to side just a little bit. And by the way, this guy does not come with his own trident, which I think is kind of strange, but he does have the thumbs up right over there for dude bro, yeah, all right, but no thumbs up on the left side. But anyway, yeah, you just get a little bit of side to side movement over here. His head will look up just a tiny bit and will look down some. Shoulder joints move outward that far. You can move them down, turn 360, bicep swiveler. We get a single jointed elbow, and then we get only wrist swivels at the wrist. I wish we had hinges for those wrists. And then he he has an ab crunch that barely moves forward and barely moves back. He has the waist swiveler. Hip joints move outward. They do kick forward that much and not back at all. We get a mid thigh cut, single jointed knee. Then the ankles barely move down and they barely move up and no ankle pivot because we all hate ankle pivot, right? I'm, I'm trying to use reverse psychology over here, right? Doesn't ankle pivot suck? God, I hate ankle pivot. And here's the main reason why I made this purchase. The $20 head sculpt right here, which I find to be a little disappointing. Uh, I heard somebody say it was a much better head sculpt than the other version, but it looks so similar to this one right over here. I mean, this is the original head sculpt. I think this came with the Superman figure, if I can remember off the top of my head, but it looks so similar. I guess it's a little better. I mean, this one's definitely lighter in color. This one's a little bit darker. Uh, the head isn't necessarily any larger or anything like I was hoping for. And then the paint and everything came out the same. You know, paint apps are equally as good on both of them. 
So, I mean, we get the feature where we can remove the helmet over here, which is, I guess, an okay feature. I have no real desire to have him helmetless. So, yeah, I'm not too thrilled about it. I mean, it does look good. I, I do really like how the gray paint looks on this. Especially, you know, seeing how the colors mix in together right there. I think that looks pretty awesome. Putting the head onto the Build-A-Figure. Seriously? It's a collect and connect, not a Build-A-Figure, sort of it. Self, because I want to take off the helmet first before doing that. And then just plopping it on there. And there we go. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look bad. Can't really complain about it much, right? Looks okay. And looking at it from farther away, I mean, it, it doesn't look that different, does it? I don't know, maybe I could do a side-by-side -side thing right over here. So, yeah, you let me know in the comments which you prefer. Uh, do you prefer the original head sculpt on the right or the new head sculpt right over here on the left? Now, measuring out this Aquaman figure, you can see that he's standing at about six and a half inches tall. And then for a DCEU Aquaman comparison, we have the BVS Aquaman, and then we have the regular version of Aquaman from the Steppenwolf wave. And you can see this guy's just a little bit shorter, which makes sense. But what doesn't make sense is that while this guy's wearing a suit and this one's not, it looks like this guy is a little bit wider than this one over here, which is kind of strange. And you can see that he did get more ink done between BVS and Justice League. And then comparing this new Aquaman with the Steppenwolf with the new head sculpt, you can see, uh, you know, they scale fairly well together. And then here's our shirtless Aquaman next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. And here's Aquaman on the blue Tamashi flame effects, looking a little bit cooler, right? I don't know, I try to have fun with it. I did pose the figure around and try to get some little display options going with this guy, but yeah, it's just not a very cool figure. I don't really like it that much, and I'm not that stoked about the Steppenwolf head sculpt that I got with this thing, so overall, uh, I gotta say, yeah, this was a bit of a letdown. Uh, luckily, the figure was a gift, so I didn't pay anything for it, but, you know, still, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a giveaway on the Patreon account. I'm gonna try to kick up the incentives on Patreon. Uh, there's some bad changes on Patreon recently. I lost about 14 patrons in a day due to Patreon creating fees for people that contribute a dollar a month, which I thought was really, really stupid, so I don't blame anybody for dropping off my Patreon account because of that. You know, I, I would probably do the same thing, but I just got noticed today that that Patreon is back to normal, so they are not going to roll in those fees anymore. So if you guys are willing to come back to the Patreon account and support the channel, please go ahead and do so. You'll find your name still up here on the big blue wall, and I thank you for your contributions for as little as it was, or how much as it was anyway. So thank you guys so much. Uh, your donations really do go a long way in helping support this show, and I hope you guys enjoy the content. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think of this figure, let me know what you think of the review. If if you want to see more Shardimus Prime videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as hitting the notification bell. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, it'll be over at toynewseye.com as well as shardimusprime.net and you can follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links to everything in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! I'm gonna play with the toys today. 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 Well, I don't care what strangers say. I'm gonna play Hey, new Shard of Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.